Hi everyone. I'm going to let you know how this day went. It started off, well I slept in really late because the day, day before I was up late make, dealing with Zack Knight trash at Crazy Gale Wiki. And um, when I woke up early this afternoon I slept really really good which is better than what my men have been doing and I want you men to get your rest. Uh, I noticed that Vladimir was getting onto my computer and I let him get onto my computer to maintain it. He, he uh, gets on there every now and then and takes the malware out and cleans it out for me. So I noticed he was there and when he's on my computer I'll just put a Microsoft Word page up there and I'll start uh, communicating with him back and forth. And um, I, we got into a bit of small talk. And I asked him if I needed to comp completely shut off Skype. He said no. And he called me the sexual queen of his manhood. And he says he's, he could do it even without that. And I said, well, I said, now, Vladimir, you make sure you get enough sleep. And I said, we had wonderful sex this past week. And I, but I had to give some to Brent and Terrance, too. But you deserve more. And I try not to neglect you. I think you're very sexy. And he says, oh, you are very sexual. And I said, I adore you. And I hope Ludmila is not being a problem now that you've divorced her and it's all public and all over the place. And he said, she has not been the bother. It makes me happy in my pants to know that I, the media finally see I divorce her. I can imagine, I should, said, you know, Vladimir, I could imagine how I would feel if everybody thought I was married to Zack Knight. He said, yes, now people can see that Vladimir not wanting that fat bitch and only want the sexual gale. I said, well, I'm happy for you, Vladimir. And I said, is it Jesus who's making it so I can't allow comments on my comedy video called What About Bob? And you know what I found out? When Vladimir went in there to try to fix it, I found out that Zack Knight used brain control on me to get me confused and think that I had to have blanks in these four boxes that you choose. In other words, I accidentally, I think he used brain control on me to get me to accidentally refuse comments on one of my videos. I'm not sure. And then when I went in there to try to fix it, Zach used brain control on me so that I got con confused and forgot that in order to allow comments, I, had to, I have to have check marks in the boxes instead of blanks in the boxes. I had it set in my mind that you had to have blanks in the box. And I said, Vladimir, that's what happened. Zach used brain control on me. I told um, Vladimir what was going on. He said, that's kind of strange. strange. He said, I'll talk to Jesus about it. And I said, you don't need to talk to Jesus about it. It was Zach's brain control. I figured this out. So, um, um, I, and then I told him about it. And he said, oh, he said, that Zach Knight is a bastard. Um, and I said, yeah, man. He says, but how was he able to get into that video and remove the check marks? You know, I'm thinking that maybe he used brain control on me, and I did it. Because <laughs> I'm so used to not allowing comments on my videos that I might have accidentally taken all the checks out one time. Anyways, anyways, it's fixed. And I'm, I'm allowing comments on my videos. And, um, and then I told Vlad, I was working on the other computer because giving... I was uh, fixing a document for my men that will help them as they uh, represent me as in some legal matters. And um, so I was working on that on my other computer while Vladimir was working on the laptop. And I told him, is that okay, Vladimir? And he said, that's fine. That's fine. And, and then I just, uh, so I said, Vladimir, whenever you're ready, the other computer's free. I'm finished on it for now. I'm going to go eat breakfast. Actually, uh, this is what I've been eating. This is like a, a kind of my own recipe. Cabbage, beet, um, siphon, bean threads, miso paste that I mix in here. That's, that's what the Japanese use to make miso soup, but I put it in some of my stir fries. Onions, garlic, a little bit of rice vinegar, nice flavor. And this is it. Um, this is so delicious. It's hard for me to eat it in moderation. <laughs> kind of like... Um, it's kind of Russian tasting though because it has lots of cabbage and beef in it and it's got a sour tang to it. And I noticed Russian food is kind of like that, but it's not Russian. But but the Russian would probably like it though because of the cabbage and the beef. And um, I so I I made this before I started this video. <laughs> um anyways, back to my subject with Vladimir. So um
I said, Vladimir, whenever you're ready, the other computer's free, and I've finished on it for now. I'll go eat breakfast and read my Bible and do some other things. He says, okay, my amazing wife, have the greatest day imaginable in your happiness. And then I said, every day is wonderful because I have wonderful men starting with Jesus, then you, Vladimir, Brent, Terrence, and my marriage list. How can I be sad with such awesome company? He said, this make me happy. I will post this as quote of day on church bulletin board. And you know what Zach Knight did? Apparently he's got his agents. You know, Church of Gale's got like a million members, so I'm sure some of them are Jesuits. And they went and told Zach about it. And he posted it at Crazy Gale. You said, how did he get that? Well, probably easy, because Vladimir said he was going to post it at the Church of Gale bulletin board, and so that's where they got it. See, But see, Zach's trying to create the impression that Vladimir and my men are all trolls. They're, that's not the real Vladimir. And then I said, and then I started kissing Vladimir on his penis, because I just love to get him sexually excited. He's such a, how do I say this? Vladimir is such a erotic, or should I say very sexual man and he has a, a very strong need to have but yet as sexual as he is he um he can control it too i mean sometimes i haven't given him sex for months and he's so good about it but every time i give him some it really boosts him it just makes him so virile he's a very virile man so i said just curious can you feel me kissing you and he said yes i said i like to thrill you he said i am very thrilled in my pants you, you made a wreck very strong and throb at, the, at this time. I said, maybe we could take a break and I go jump into bed. And so we had our time together. And then Zach was interfering with me, with my climax. I said, oh. But, and then I noticed that. Then Vladimir went right back to the computer uh, before we were finished. He told me, brain the brain. He says, Gail, I have emergency. I have to uh, go. He says, I, but, but, but before that, he said, I will be there. Go. I take you hard. Anyways, he came back later, about an hour later, and finished up what we were doing earlier. And, oh, man, he was good. I love you, my awesome president. He says, I don't believe that's the real Vladimir Putin. Well, you know. <laughs> he has a public persona and a private persona. He's a very virile man, but he's not a pervert. But I believe the Russian culture has less sexual hang-ups than the Western culture, and and they get very misunderstood by um, people who don't understand them, you know. So, he's a very virile man. And I just, uh, and he only asks that I love him. And he does, so he works so hard for me. I said, you make sure you get enough sleep. Can you imagine what this is like? He's the head of state of Russia. And then he takes the time to protect me. He does do judo chops and he kills the bad Jesuits that are, you know, trying to harm my health or threaten my life. He's always busy for me. The least I can do is give him a little bit of exciting excitement in bed, you know? Uh -huh. So, Vladimir, I think you would like this. <laughs> Even though it's Asian food, it's got all this cabbage and beef in it, I think you would like it. Mmm. -hmm. And you know what? This isn't really that fattening either. Um, one thing I like about the Asian cuisine is you can eat a lot of it. And, and as long as you don't go too heavy on the oils, and it's not that fattening. And it's healthy food. This is kind of like Japanese, ch Chinese style. Um, but I just wanted to mention... Mm, there's another reason that I like to do brain-to-brain -brain loving with my men. Jesus has told me that I actually heal their physical illnesses and that I give them rest when I make love to them. And my men work so hard for me. I saved Brent Spiner's life when I gave him rest. And I'm going to try to work out a little bit. That's why I'm in my exercise outfit. But Zach Knight doesn't want me to believe that my yeast infection is cured. And he wants me to believe, that's because he wants me to quit taking my Seroquel. But I will never stop taking the Seroquel. I'm going to take it every day. I try to take it at the same time because that's what Jesus said. I try to obey Jesus in everything. I'm not perfect and sometimes I mess up and then Jesus has to correct me. But at least I try. I'm not like these crazy Jesuits. You know, like, 
A year ago, they were shooting rockets up at Jesus after he talked to me and Brennan Terrance. We watched them. I thought, I mean, I didn't see it, but Terrance told me he saw it. And I believe it. I said, why would they do that? Well, the Jesuit order, even though they claim they're serving Jesus, they're actually serving Satan. So they're lying to the world when they say they serve Jesus Christ. You may say, well, why would they serve Satan and lie to the world that they're saying? My guess is that I'm writing a book where the Jesuit is the main character, and so I've had to kind of go into this. My guess is the reason they do this is because Satan has, has them convinced that he can run the universe better than Jesus. And, when, and so really they're, they're rooting for Satan to run the universe. They're Satan worshipers. I mean, during a Valentine's service in 2012, they were worship, they were in a Satan worship ritual. Um, that's when Zach Knight was Satan took Zach, Zach Knight from hell and went into his body. And then Jesus showed Jesus showed up later and told us he was the Antichrist. You know, Zach Knight spends 90 percent of his day scheming of over ways and how to discredit me and make it appear that my men are trolls and that the Jesus I converse with is not real. And he's a computer genius, and he meets with Satan almost every day with that goal in mind. It's a miracle I'm not in more trouble than I am. We say, how in the world, what, you know, Terrence Jenkins has tried to send me uh, tapes of Brent Spiner's sermons at Church of Gale, but every time he tries to send them to me, Zach Knight blocks the transmission, and I don't get them. So you know why he's doing that? Because he's afraid that if I get a like a tape recording of Brent preaching, and then I post that online, I'm going to have solid evidence that, that the Brent Spiner I'm communicating with is not a troll. So and I am convinced that I'm speaking with the real, that I am communicating with the real Brent, Vladimir, Terrance. And I've given them so much access to my computer and everything else that if they were trolls, they could have totally destroyed me by now. Which is, I mean, they're not trolls. And Vladimir just took some malware out of my computer. Doesn't If he's a troll, he's a very nice one. That's all I have to say. But I know he's not. That's the real Vladimir. Um, now, I'll be writing a book about this. But anyways, I'm just letting you know. This guy, Zach Knight, he is so obsessed with me. He meets with Satan every day with, for the sole purpose of how to knock me down and discredit me to the world. And that's why I don't have any really rock-solid evidence that I can put online that my men are not trolls. However, any intelligent viewer who really keeps up with me can tell that, you know, that the, that the Brent Spiner, the Vladimir, and Terrance that I communicate with are not trolls.